Hi, yeah, I'm Matt Biolis, Lost Surfboards by Mayhem, shaper, designer, founder, head buffoon. We came to Costa Rica, you know, to surf and build surfboards. We've been coming here, I've been coming here for 25 years. Um, we used to have a good surfboard business here. We used to come down and shape two or three times a year or send one of my shapers from California. And we made custom boards here, um, but we stopped about six, seven years ago. We hadn't done it for a while. So we feel like after COVID and the world's moving again, it's time to, time to get things going down here again. As far as Central America goes, Costa Rica is the biggest market. You know, it's got the, the biggest middle class and you know, local community of surfers, you know, the city in San Jose and the guys here on the beach. Um, there's a high level of tourism, you know, it's a, it's an expensive country, you know, it's, uh, it's like living in California. So the guys that come here, they usually, they have money to buy, you know, well-made, you know, brand name surfboards, high performance boards. So, the, you know, there's always, there's been a market here compared to El Salvador or Nicaragua and other countries like that. It's, it's an established market. You know, most of the big brands sell boards here. We ship boards from the States. We've been doing that the last six, eight years. And it's just becoming increasingly more difficult. Um, I've been friends with Wooster, a shaper here, a Floridian who moved here 20 years ago. Um, he's been shaping here under his brand and for other brands. He shaped for us 10 years ago. Um, so we're partnering with him and we're working out of his factory and we're, he's got a brand new shaping machine so we can cut all my designs, all my special custom designs, we can cut them here. We're importing blanks, resin, fiberglass and doing everything exactly how we do it at home or in other countries like you know, Europe, Brazil, Australia, Japan, all these countries where we build the boards you know, locally. So it's an international brand but we're building surfboards locally, like a small brand, like a local brand. And we're working with Wooster to do it. You know, Wooster and I have been friends for 25 years. I used to go to Florida and shape, hand shape, before the machines. And there was this one trip where I went for a trade show in Orlando, and Andy Irons was still really young. He wasn't even on Billabong yet. He's just a young, hotshot kid. He came with me to, to New Smyrna Beach where Wooster was just started shaping. And Andy and Wooster were like my assistants and we made like 50, 60 boards. And Wooster was helping me shape and Andy was doing all the odd chores with another kid, um, Hopper, Shannon Eichstead, who everybody, kind of the core surfers know Hopper. So we just hung out and made boards for like a few weeks there. That was literally 25 years ago. It was like the summer of 98. But here we are. Wooster's shaping room. Been working, working hard. All custom. This one's a stinger. Sting, not stinger. Yeah, it's a sub scorcher sting. Look at that wing. This one's uh, 5'6, 19, 26.88 liters. Costa Rica, 23. Right? Looks good. Everything looks really good. Matt's been here for a week now, powering out boards, giving me a lot of useful information. So we're doing epoxies and polys, all customs. Matt's um, tuning everything in off the machine, dialing it in for uh, super happy customers. This is actually a stock board for a shop. This is a driver 3.0. And this is actually for Surf and Republica. Know. What shop? Surf and Republica. Yeah, so we go like this. It's a driver 3.0, round tail. For Surfing Republica. So that's what we're doing. Thank you for coming. Look, in the United States, we have the best materials. We have really good craftsmen. And we have a culture of building surfboards. We've been doing it since the 50s. Um, but there's a lot of good guys here. For one thing, it's all the same materials. We're importing all the foam. 
all the resin, all the glass, all the materials, all the techniques. It's, it's, um, it's all coming from the States. It's really expensive to get the materials here. And the quality is there. I mean, you got guys like Wooster and other board builders who've been at it as long as I have. And they know how to build boards. And there's really good skilled labor here. You know, there's people here that know how to build good surfboards. But I prefer to use local craftsmen, local workers, local community, local economy, and you be a national, global brand that acts like a local brand. And that's what we do around the world. We build boards in Hawaii, we build boards in Japan, in Brazil, in Peru, Australia, in Europe. We build, we have small core businesses building by designs around the world acting like a small local brand, but with the power and the design and the marketing of an international brand with great designs, great team writers, and great marketing. Last night we did a little party, you know, right in the middle of Hermosa, Pina Hermosa, the restaurant, and bar. And then we showed a video project we're working on. It's not finished yet, in typical Lost fashion, if they're never finished, but it's called Used, and it's all of our modern, young, new team writers, like, Griffin, Kaloe, Yagodora, Crosby, Colapinto, and, and all the 2% boys writing vintage boards out of my, uh, out of my storage. Uh, Chris Ward boards, Andy Irons boards, Bruce Irons boards, Corey Lopez boards, etc., etc. Um, fun little movie, everyone had a good time, and it was, it was great. Hey everyone, this is Matt Biolas, Mayhem from Lost Surfboards, and um, I just want to give a shout out to Surfing Republica. Thank you for everything you do.